Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity, and I'm here on Creative Fabrica, and I wanted to share with you a really neat tool that you can use in Silhouette Studio for accessing your glyphs and other special use characters. You can also use this for Cricut Design Space. I recently started using this and was so excited about how well it worked that I thought that I would go ahead and share it with you. So I'm going to go here to Tools, and I'm going to go to Font Cloud, and let's open Font Cloud. Now keep in mind that this is a free tool that you can use, and I am going to go to um, Upload a Font in here, and just to show you how this works, so I'm going to browse. You can drop your fonts in here, but you can browse from your computer, and let's see. I'm just going to go up and let's go to script fonts. I have butter and garlic. Um, let's choose one of these. And that's butter and garlic bonus. Let's go ahead and browse and do the butter and garlic font. And so here you can see in Butter and Garlic Bonus that you have all of the little special characters that are there. This is sort of a Dingbats um, font, part of the Butter and Garlic. And then you have the, the script font, part of the Butter and Garlic font. And you do have some glyphs and special characters different variations of like the K here. And so that's just how you get the fonts into that. You can just upload them right from your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in my Silhouette Studio here. And let's type out a word. And this is in the default font that I have set. Let's go ahead and change that to this a mastery script font that I have on my computer. And I want to grab some of those special characters and flourishes in that a mastery script font. So I'm going to go to that in my font cloud. And you can see here's my regular J. But let's go down and we can find, um, here's the beginning of all the lowercase letters. And let's find a special J. And I'm going to select this one. And as soon as I do that, it said character copied to clipboard up there. So I've already copied that character. Let's go back to Silhouette Studio. And I'm going to highlight my J. And I'm going to paste. And you can see that that brought that character into my design here. Now keep in mind, I'm doing this in Silhouette Studio Standard Edition. I'm, I have Business Edition, but I'm viewing this as Silhouette Studio Standard Edition. So if you have the Standard Edition, you can still use this. And now let's go ahead and find an L. And the L's are actually beyond the ends. And let's choose this one. It says character copied to clipboard. Highlight, right click, paste, and now our L is in there. And let's just go ahead and change this all to black so you can see what it looks like. 
And maybe that's not exactly what I would do or my style, but you can see how the app works and now go ahead and you can weld your characters together. Let's make them a compound path and you can see that your text has the special use characters that you wanted it to have. So let's just minimize this down and let's say that I wanted to just do a, a dingbats font. So let's go ahead here and I'll hit T for text and I will do autumn dingbats. And let's go ahead and search for one that I like. Um, maybe I just want to do a design with this cute little coffee cup here. And it said copied to clipboard. I'll go back to Silhouette Studio and I'll paste. And you can see that my coffee cup is on my design board here. So that's just a little bit about working with Font Cloud in Silhouette Studio. Remember to go over to Creative Fabrica and check out that tool, um, the Font Cloud tool. While you're there, you can also check out some of the freebies and the daily gifts that they have. Creative Fabrica is my go-to place for fonts and graphics and crafts. Um, they have classes. I highly recommend Creative Fabrica for all your creative needs. If this video was helpful to you, be sure and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content of this type, be sure and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click that bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. And we'll see you next time on Say It With Simplicity. Bye now.